it takes Rafir. What? I struggle with this place's <laughs> name. I love it. Turks Fai. Turks One fai. of your favorite fruits? Yes, yes. Turks Feigs Rafir. Wow, it's difficult. Turks Feigs Rafir. Okay. <laughs> love it. Yeah. <laughs> Now that you've left Turks Feig Rafir, did I say that right? I think so. Well done. <laughs> okay, thank you. We are today, if you look at the map, we are our ultimate destination is a farm called Heiseberg, which is how can I say it? It falls in the Jansenville area. But the route that we're going to be taking is from here at Turks Vijger Vier. We're going to just be backtracking back to Pearson. And then through Pearson, then we're heading to Somerset East. We must see what Somerset, there's so much to see in Somerset East. Just hope there's no rush and late driving and stuff again today. And then once we're done in Somerset East, we're heading to a place called Waterford. Now it's a tiny little place. I just, I saw it on a map. And you know, when I see these things on a map, I have to stop and see what it's about. There's a church, so if there's a church, there must be a community there. So I just want to go and have a look at that, and then we're going to go into the mountains at Heiseberg. White Springbuck. How amazing is that? Beautiful. I thought they were goats. You said there's one Springbuck. <laughs> and they virtually all of them are white. There's only one normal color. Oh. Unbelievable! Kijk daar, kijk daar! Hey! Look at all these hellos. Yeah, let's put a number. Yeah. <laughs> you like to say thousands. I'm telling you, <laughs> yeah, probably they are, yeah. <laughs> On my side, yeah, it just continues and so, continues. This is clearly aloe country, yeah, but it, and they, they stop there, right there, they're gone now. You nearly say it's like a plantation. We're, we're coming up the road, yeah, and Sonny spotted this old building and she said it looks like a jail. So I turned around and stopped, but it's got so much character. I just Built with this beautiful stone and then the brick in the front. Major uh, burglar bars on the front of it here, but it's actually, it must have been a stunning little place. I would love to know what it was. Look at that stonework. Wow. I think this must have a nice view from the top, yeah? Definitely. Oh, this is a perfect spot. I, did, I just thought I'm going to come and do the view here, yeah? but it's a perfect spot for a picnic. We're going to have our breakfast here. Yeah? Look at these beautiful little tables. And look at this view. Wow, crispy wind blowing, yeah? This is something new for us. Turks Vijgrafier Roosterkoek with our traditional ham and cheese on it. I think this is going to be stunning. And I think so too. I must be honest, breakfast was delicious. We were sitting there and with that little breeze blowing there, you see those twigs moving around, those little grass seeds. That breeze is freezing. So we quickly packed up and came and sat in the car eating. <laughs> yeah, no, it's chilly. Huh? Ice cold, but still the view was stunning. Or still is stunning. And the breakfast was very good. Breakfast today is roaster cook. And that's freshly baked roaster yeah, cooks. Yeah, fantastic. Enjoyed it. Right, we can continue. Onward to Somerset East. I 
I must going say, up? I, yeah, we are going up, but I must say, the early morning light and sunlight just highlights things so so much more than just at say at noon in the day. Oh, on that note, it is the second time that the second morning we've actually woken up on time and we've left on time. Exactly, we are sticking to our resolution. How's that road? <laughs> you can see it going up and down, up and down. It like really the Loch Ness Monster. It does, it looks like the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Beautiful. It's gorgeous. Look at that hillside there. Covered with anthills, dotted with them. And even if you go, if you pan to the left, babe, look all look along those fields and stuff. Crazy. Or the plain. It's like if I didn't know any better, I would have uh, said this is the valley of a thousand hills. <laughs> a thousand ant hills. Definitely. As we crossed over this river and we looked down to our left and our right, we had to just stop off and take a walk to this. It's so nice. Wow, look how pretty this is. Fantastic. Check those mountains. Wow. There's the spillway. Beautiful. And that must be the old bridge of the old road. Fantastic. That must have been amazing. Ah, they can see that's ancient. I wonder how old that bridge is. It's so gorgeous. Sometimes one finds these little gems along the roads that you travel. And I think this is so pretty and the birds listen. In the middle of nowhere, you just find this life over here. I just, I just love this. Time to go. Gorgeous here, hey? Beautiful. It's like crazy. Wherever you stop, it's just so much life. Random places. Random places. I love it that the road is so quiet. Yeah. You can just stop next to the road anywhere without really worrying. Our first glimpse of Somerset East. Somerset East. Oh, it looks pretty. Beautiful. So many trees. Look at the mountains. Wow. Check all those trees, eh? Beautiful. Pretty house. Well, yes, a monument. I'm going to have to stop immediately. No, you have to, eh? Crazy. Oh, this is Majoli Street. This is Majoli Street. Majoli Street, yeah, look at this. Look at this beautiful memorial as we came into Somerset East. It's a, all the, the um, so people that passed away in the... Great War. They call that the Great War, which is actually the First World War. Aside in the shade, it's the Second World War people who had fallen. Look at that. Now you can judge the size of it compared to the little quid. <laughs> Another interesting thing that we read up was about the 
slachters nek rebellion, that the boers, uh, it, it started in this region, it sounds like, in the eastern part of the old Cape colony, and that was in 1815, so that's, that's interesting. Check the old Somerset Hotel. Yeah. Wow. That's gorgeous, eh? So also, um, deep in history. Yeah. The town and oh, the area. Look at this, right? this must be the town hall. Oh. oh, that's gorgeous. Look at this. This is so beautiful. This is stunning, eh? Wow. Love that. Beautiful. Say, I'm impressed. Blue Crane Root Municipality. Okay. A pretty Busy church. Busy town, eh? Yeah. yeah. Pretty church, yeah. Busy little town. But it's neat. I'm, I'm really impressed. With this nice old building. 8, 1923. I agree. And it's clean. Yeah. Very clean. Can you imagine? Can you imagine when these trees are what leaves on in the summertime what it looks like? My vibe. <laughs> it's beautiful. Sure. Pretty. And again the mountains, eh? Right at the foot of the oh, mountains. Mountains are crazy. Wow. Pretty nice. view of the church. The church, eh? And its clock is correct. Yeah. That looks quite yes, pretty. Yes. Another nice little church. Yeah. I like the look of it. Yeah. You know me and my gothic windows. Yes. <laughs> you got to get them. Yes. Yeah, I love this, eh? Yeah. St. Andrew's. Oh, Presbyterian. Love it. It's pretty. Very pretty. Yeah. Looks like there's cattle in the streets as well. There's a nice old building I'd like to go and see as well. Remember that street. Okay. One up. One up. Lots of modern buildings, but yes. lots of traditional buildings as well. It's the church hall. Big house. So, so I suppose no prizes for guessing who Somerset East was uh, named after. Um, <laughs> uh, do I, if I guess correctly, could it be Lord Charles Somerset? Um, ding 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 ding. <laughs> he was also involved with Somerset West. Oh, that is gorgeous, eh? Mm, beautiful. Now that's what all those others would look like when they got leaves on. Beautiful. I hope we get to see some more monuments or... Yeah, I hope so too. There's a long street up there. I want to go up that okay. one. We can that's go a pretty house. Further there's down. Which one? Down there. But well, I'll, I'll come back to it now. Oh. But there's that one building I want to come and see. Oh, the, the really, pinkish one? The pinkish one, yeah. Look at this. Oops. Churchy. Churchy. Oh. 
but more modern. Um, yeah. We can maybe come out the other side when we're done with your building. Yeah, look at this. I wonder what this is. I wonder. It's College House Hill. Oh, it's a hostel. Okay. It's a pretty building. Gill College. Really? Okay, so it's Gill College. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Okay, let's just drive up to Gill College and see what it looks like. You want to see the building at the back, I yes, know. That's you. Right. Look at this. You sneaky. Oh, and this one. Yeah. So this is the hostel or all part of Guild College, eh? There's a chapel. So this must be like a Catholic... So this looks like an entire campus. Yeah, look at this. Wow. This is pretty. This is really pretty. There's a memorial that you can yeah. take a walk to. If you want. I want to. Memorial's just as beautiful as the church. Yeah. This is impressive, eh? Yeah. Very impressive. 1918. If I judge that boy over there, he's in high school, so we don't know. Look at this. This is stunning. Beautiful. This is an impressive school, eh? This bell just went off, so I don't know how many kids are going to come charging out here. But what's interesting is it was established in 1869 and, um, and named after a Dr. William Gill uh, who left an amount of 23,000 uh, pounds or the equivalent of 23,000 pounds specifically for higher education. So, um, and that's when it was started. But back then it was started as a university. But since then it's become a high school. But it's fantastic that this is out here. It's such a beautiful place. I just want to tell you, I haven't seen a school. Look at the kids are walking in single file, not making a noise. The principal's out here making sure that the discipline stays. It's incredible. Um, I can entertain you the whole day with this. <laughs> so, um, from what I believe is that this was supposed to be Rhodes University. But the, the, the fathers of the town, those years, yes. decided, no, you're going to spoil this beautiful town, so we don't want this. So this is where your college can start. Oh, so, so they wanted to start the university, but they never did? No. Okay. That's why we are okay. college, you see? Yes, yes. So this is the first school. We just renovated the school. Oh, it looks beautiful, we, we right? Just, we just yeah. done with this spot. So the next one will be the hostel. Yes. And then this one because we need funds. funds. I can imagine. We need that. money. Yes, yes. So yeah. So if you go in here, yes, I can show yes, you please. One. By the way, the second grave is uh, the grave of a legend. He was not a principal but a teacher, Mr. Coppins. And if you mention his name to to his name to the old Gillians, yes, biggest respect. Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. So okay. and that tree was given to me. Uh, when I started as a principal. That tree over there? And you planted it? Yes, I did. Oh, but wonderful. The, the school gave it to me as a, uh, as a, as a gift. As a gift. When so I you've planted the tree here uh, and mm, mm. so your roots are going to be here forever. <laughs> 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 yeah, wonderful. So. This, this was the, the hall and then the classroom to the side. Okay. Go in, isn't it? Tell me now, how long have you been the principal here? Yeah? Um, four years. Shirley, and your name is Shirley and your surname is? Slater Billet. Slater Billet? Yes. Wow. It, it, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's my surname. Okay. That is my first surname. And you've been here for four years. That's, that's an accomplishment, yeah. I yeah. must really say. That's and fantastic. Before that, I was the HOD of the school. Now, the HOD is like the deputy principal. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 
by the way, you you will see the pavilion. You can take a picture later. Right? Yes. It's named after Hannes Marie. You know Hannes Marie, the Springbok captain. Yes, yes. Did he, he come to school here? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He was here. He was head boy here. He was the captain of the first team, first rugby team. Wow. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> we just renovated now this place. This is stunning. And um, I see this was built in just 1903 or yeah. 19. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, it's. It needed a female touch. Uh, de definitely, <laughs> and I must, I must tell you, my wife was sitting in tears in the car now with how the children are walking in single file. Mm. You don't see that, it's mm. crazy. Mm. So I was just speaking to someone now. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we're on the Platteland. And yes, we, yes. The challenge we have at the school, look, this is a very, very traditional school. Yes. Um, traditions that is now coming from years yeah. and we're trying to maintain it so you know, oh, that's wonderful and, and that helps with the discipline yes and um, so I was just speaking to someone now about the challenges of a, a school in the Platinum we're losing children to the bigger schools yes. in the cities yes. because of facilities yeah. everything is modern look we also have like our Wi-Fi and our technology yes. and our Facebook page and our Instagram we have those things yes but and we have our rugby, we have like reasonable, uh, you know, the facilities yes. for sports, cricket, netball, tennis, um, squash. Uh, we have a swimming pool up here. But I asked him now to help me with a business plan for an astroturf. Okay, I understand um, Because that, yeah. we're losing children to bigger schools because they have, in the cities, because they have better facilities. Yeah, and they got lots yeah. more money, you know. And they have. They are. We don't. It, it, it looks so as if it's impossible, yeah. but I know somewhere, somehow... Something is going to happen. And this is, this is my office. Now, you, here you can see, this is where the principals are. Oh, okay, yes. So, yeah. So they're staring at me all the time. <laughs> what, keeping an eye on you? <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> like Never ever, but it's crazy today. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Um, yeah, wow, so I... Wow, this is beautiful. Yeah. This is safe. That's yeah, incredible. Yeah. yeah, and the old Gideons will always say that office never looked like this. I said, well, this is a female, female touch. touch. <laughs> and I'll, I'll just, I'm going to be with you girls now. Oh, wow. So. Oh, not allowed to walk on no, you. Okay. No. Uh, you mean, we can just step on you. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, what do you mean as tra when our tradition? Uh, you can go onto our Facebook page yes. and you will see it as well. Um, when the grade eights come to school yes. for the first time. Then we all gather here. Then our first assembly is here. Oh, okay. And that's the only time when they can sit here. Now the grade eights or the old standard sixes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> now, now they will wait outside and then the whole school will sit here. From grade nine to 12, the parents will be here. It will be their first day at school. So then they will come through here and I will welcome them. Okay. Right? And, and I will welcome them and then they will here we would start here and we will have our first assembly a formal assembly um, and they will then um, go through their orientation program and then after the orientation program that is now they wearing like uh, garlic around the oh, the initiation yes yeah, yes yeah, yes, yes. but so, not crazy initiation no no, yeah, no. Yeah, we, yeah. We, it's also like controlled it, it's yeah. controlled yeah. it's disciplined yes. but it's fun but it has to be done yeah, yeah. yeah. and then it's a tradition yeah the last i think the last day that they, then they would go to the dam and they must swim in the uh, okay. dam, you know? yeah, yeah and they must swim there and wash everything off <laughs> and then we have the capping ceremony okay and i cap them and then the gillians so they like a ca like a uh, captain uh, for a springbuck yeah, well, yes. yeah 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 like that yeah, yes. okay. so now that is now grade eight so now then they will go on grade eight grade nine grade 10 11 and 12. and then when we have valedictory then when you're grade 12 you come back where you have okay. you know, been placed when you're in grade eight okay <laughs> and then after that ceremony yes. that is the only two times that we're here use this yeah, yeah. and do all the students fit in here the whole wow, it must look crazy. Yeah, eh? yes. You must just go and see on the Facebook page. I will, I will. And so with valedictory, then I greet them within here to say goodbye to them. Oh, okay. And then they go out here again. That's amazing. Eh? Mm, well, that's tradition. Now, how many students are in the school? We have about 310. We can oh, only accommodate nice, up to 320. That's a nice size, yes, eh? Yeah, yes, yeah. it's a good size. And we have 
like good good products from the school. Yes, I've just spoken yes. to this person that I had in my office now. If I don't know if you watch the news, the ENCA news, and uh, there's an Afrikaans channel 145. Yes, and yes. And there's a news reader, Baron Hafke. Yes. He was here at school. You're joking. Mm, wow. He here? I'm serious. I don't know what to say. I'm so impressed with this school. Seriously impressed. So, hold on. I was on my phone. Yes. You were walking to what I thought was a chapel, which is now not a chapel. Not a chapel, yeah. And then you came back and there was a teacher. Yes, she was, the, the teacher was standing here and she was monitoring the kids walking to their classes because the bell had gone and they were going to different um, classes. And she was monitoring them and I thought, let me approach her and tell her what I'm doing on the school grounds. They wanted her just to see me walking right. around. So I walked to her. And yes, she turns out Shirley's the principal of the school. And she... Um, said wait she'll deal with it she just wants to make sure the kids are doing fine and then she said come let me show you around let me show you around and um, she showed me around and told me the history of the school fantastic and what's nice is that she's the first female principal of color of the school the first female and the first principal of, of color. color of the school and she's done so much with it already in the four years that she's been here. Yeah, you can see she's a go-getter. Oh, right? for she's sure. She doesn't sit around waiting for things to happen. She goes and fetches it. And this is her latest pride and This joy, is her says. latest thing. She got people to donate and stuff. And the, she had this made for the 32 children that play, play chess in the school. She had this done for them. She says the hostel gave seven, the school gave seven, and they got sponsors. Um, that's fantastic. And uh, they didn't have enough money for another, I think, netball court, she said. Yeah, yeah. So that's what, um, what they did. But she did it for their chess players. That's fantastic. And this is the hostel. And this is the I hostel. Because a lot of the students come from farms and exact outlying areas. Exactly, outlying areas. What a pleasant stop this was. Telling you. Something called you to this big building. I don't know. When I drove past and I saw it, it was impressive. And little did I know the history. Gill College in Somerset East. The Walter Battis Art Museum. National Monument sign, do you see yeah. that? Yeah. So they've got cute little buildings, eh? Now this is look uh, a, a cute street, eh? That little, little house. That little church at the back there was built in 1844. Okay, wow. Yeah. This is frost. 1844. Crazy, eh? I'd say. See some, some stained glass windows through the windows in front here. Exactly. Oh, this is also a Oh, house. look at this house. This is stunning. I love it. And I think the wall is as original as you can get. For sure. This is beautiful, eh? Now, Somerset East was developed on the original farm of Lord Charles Somerset. And this little building is said to be the mill that was on that farm, the original. There's no date of construction or anything like that. No record of when it was built. But it is said to have been the original mill on that farm. It's such a cute little building, you know, it looks like a building, you know, when a child draws that building with the typical windows and the door in it, that's what you would draw it like, exactly like this. Now, a mill normally has a river close by or something like this, so they say they don't know why it was built here because there's no real source of water but you never know what it was like back then but it's such a cute little building I wish I knew how old exactly it was look when you come up to it like this the stairs the door unfortunately now the windows have been broken look at this I can put the camera through the window See what it looks like inside. 
these are the stairs going up to the top. You can see someone's trying to renovate it from the inside. They said there was that uh, the renovation has started, but it hasn't been completed yet. Oh, such a cute little building. Look at the wooden floors. I think that is so original. Fantastic. I just want to go down here because apparently there's a nice old church as well. Now, <laughs> look at that little steel structure with a little black house on the top. I'm sure that's the, the bell because there's a rope and everything at the top going up to the top. So that must be where the bell is. That's the bell tower. Um, I'm, I'm glad I don't have to maintain the bell because that little ladder scares me. <laughs> it looks in good shape. No, I'm sure it is. It's just tiny and very, very narrow. This is beautiful though, eh? Yeah, I love it. And I love the fence too. I'm really impressed with Somerset East. <laughs> so am I, actually. It's totally mind-blowing. Check at this. I recognize that emblem. Of course. Wow, they should touch it up a bit. It looks fantastic. It was always such a nice emblem to me. Yeah. Somerset East has been a, a, a bit of a revelation. Definitely a bit of a revelation. Love it. Um, Fantastic. Another gorgeous building. Yes, <laughs> I'm telling you. Doesn't stop. I think we've reached the end. What a pretty town. Loved every minute. Totally blown away by Somerset East. Yeah, we had a fantastic time here. Yeah, there's so much. The buildings have so much character. It's like incredible. So that was it for Somerset East.